things are more complicated than we thought, that we should pay attention not only to whether a tumor is HER2 positive, but what level of amplification is there and what percent of the cells are HER2 positive. And if you come across a tumor where only 10 or 15 percent of the cells are positive or HER2, you might want to rethink what you're going to be giving. Uh, you might not want to give, for instance, TDM1, which is a drug where Herceptin takes the chemo drug inside the cell. If there's no HER2 on the membrane, that chemo drug is not going to be able to get inside the cell and it won't work. And there's some data to suggest that that's indeed the case. So I think looking at not just HER2 positivity, but how positive and what percentage of the cells are affected, I think is an important message. Um, is there anything else that